The three-time world champ is next, Michelle Kwan, who recently bought a townhome in Manhattan Beach, California, and has a statue in the Madame Tussauds Wax Museum. You would think as the number one skater in the world, she would feel unique pressure with everyone gunning at her. I don't think there's extra pressure on me specifically. Um, I think everybody feels pressure because they want to do their best. They want to be the first one across that line. So. I just have to think about it that way and not like I'm better than anyone because I'm not. Sarah Hughes is your leader right now over Yelena Sokolova of Russia and Angela Nikodinov. Two skaters left here in the ladies' free skate. Here we know who this is. Michelle Horn, the three-time world champion who has won this event four of the past five seasons. She didn't enter in 1998, trying to become the first lady to win Skate America five times. Here is a brand new program. Song of the Black Swan by Villa Lobos. So many of the skaters skating to classical music, Verdi, Guno, Cacciatorian, hers also. And her costume by Vera Wang. She hasn't done a competitive skater since Nancy Kerrigan in 1994 at the Olympics. herself with a wonderful team of people and now her first jump is a triple loop Ooh, oh wow did you notice the entrance edge that's the secret where every jump comes from it just wasn't steady and it wasn't in the right angle it's the triple lutz double toe combination Beautifully controlled, very neat. Notice how much higher she holds that free leg now. Taking classes once again at UCLA. She just finished midterms. Her only loss last season to Arena Slutskaya at the Grand Prix Final. And now coming up is her triple-triple combination. Triple toe, triple toe, very important. And she only doubled that last triple. Now this triple flip, watch the landing edge. See if she holds it out. Oh, doubled one. This is not her evening. This is out of character of Michelle Kwan, who's usually such a fighter. But this is a beautiful spin. Catch foot. Look at the beautiful way that she extended her free leg to the catch part of it instead of dropping it down. That was elegant. for skaters to spin in both directions.
vertigo and a final death drop. That's got to be disappointing for Michelle. But she did do five clean triples in that program. She did something that was very interesting. She changed her program somewhere About down in the middle. Michelle she dropped Juan. out the Charlotte spiral, spiral and put in a triple toe loop because she had missed it before. That was very tough to do, quick thinking, and very successful. Mm. As always, a shower of teddy bears and flowers on the ice. Sarah Hughes has never beaten Michelle Kwan in competition. Not sure she just did it here, but we'll have to wait and see. If so, though, she would become only the fourth skater to defeat Michelle Kwan since the 95 Skate America. Only Tara Lipinski, Arena Slutskaya, and Maria Butierskaya have defeated her since then. At this altitude, to have completed all of those jumps and programs, I mean, it, it is not that serious a problem to have doubled one or two. Now, look at this combination that she did early in the program. It was supposed to have been a triple toe, triple toe. She did a very beautiful first triple toe and then doubled the next one. That caused her later in the program to substitute another triple toe for a Charlotte spiral. Now, now look right here, right here. Watch in this same combination, the step, the toe pick, the turn, the tightness of the feet, the crossed and unhinging free leg, and then the step into the second, uh, into the second jump. Now on this triple flip, uh, watch again, the turn, the back edge on an outside or straight edge, right there, the angle goes off a great deal. She leans out, does not complete the triple turn, and only does a double. Michelle now with Frank Carroll, her coach, and they await the judges' marks. This might be very close, Dick. Well, you know, it was a very acceptable performance. I mean, every skater here, practically with the exception of Sarah Hugh, has done some doubles, or, but she still did enough triples that made it a highly successful program. And we always expect so much out of her. The first set for technical merit, 5.5 from the Canadian judge up to 5.9. Very acceptable marks. You know, it's a tough, it's a new program. It's at a high altitude. It's at the start of the year. And for presentation, you always expect even higher marks, and they are. The 5.8s, the 5.9s, and that will be enough for her to hold on to the top spot. And well-deserved, so. And obviously, Sarah Hughes extremely disappointed, even though you do see the smile on her face. She drops to the second position, and Michelle Kwan holds on to number one here in Colorado Springs, the three-time world champ looking for win number five in this event. <laughs> So Michelle Kwan can smile right now. It wasn't the performance she had hoped for, but she wins a record fifth Ladies Skate America title. So Michelle not only picks up her first win of the season, but 12 Grand Prix points. Sarah Hughes a close second, but this was a non-scoring competition for her. Sokolova of Russia picks up seven points for third. Volchkova, a non-scoring competition. And Angela Nikodinov of the U.S. rounds out the top five. She picks up four Grand Prix points. Right now, Susie Wynn is with the five-time Skate America champion. Susie? Thanks, Terry. Michelle, it's your fifth Skate America win and the debut of your free program. How do you think things went for you? Oh, I forgot it was my fifth Skate America. Um, I, I felt really um, cautious in the beginning. Um, I, I thought I pulled it off pretty good at the end. Um, I was really happy with the triple odds. Got a little tough um, at the end, especially when you get winded, but what can you do? I'm really happy with now it. Now, you added the extra triple in. Was How did that come in at the last minute? Well, I knew right when I did the triple toe, double toe, I knew I have to put another triple toe in because I want to be able to do um, more triples. And, you know, it ruins the whole effect of the slow part, but, you know, you need that extra triple. What can... Now, next week, Skate Canada, and you're meeting up with Yurina Slutskaya. Uh, how will she challenge you? Well, it's always a challenge. I mean, you have other skaters. Um, she's really good and technical. Um, and... 
it's like when you're out there, you don't compete against someone, you compete against yourself, and you just try to do your best. And I have exactly two days to get myself together and celebrate for Halloween, and um, then go back to uh, go to Canada and get back to like the competition mode. Loads of time, and yeah. good luck to you. Congratulations again. Thank you. Terry, back to you.